Three days on from the destructive deluge, reinforcements are arriving. Volunteers armed with shovels and brooms stream into the disaster zone to lend a hand. It's amazing. It's thousands of people coming from Valencia, it's like a big corridor of people heartwarming. Locals forced to get creative to get by. Dirty bottles plucked from the river can't afford to go to waste here, where everything is running out. No matter how much help comes, this is not going to be fixed in a month or two. The task is overwhelming. Entire towns have been ripped apart by the floodwaters, while help is yet to reach others that are completely cut off. We haven't been through the worst part yet. Nothing can come through, no food, nothing. The devastation is everywhere. These cars were swept into a tunnel, firefighters now combing through one by one, searching for the missing. Shock is giving way to mounting anger at how a disaster of this scale could unfold with so little warning. There was no warning at all. I think that this caught everyone by surprise. Our local government didn't do anything about it, knowing uh, they well knew that, you know, this was coming. This was Australian Caroline Doyle's view. She'd been teaching an English class and rushed her students to safety. We had the boom of the doors being ripped off the house in front of us and the water just flooding in. She says the cleanup is impossible to comprehend. It just seemed unbelievable. And inconceivable from above too. This was the region three days ago. Now it's been completely transformed. Experts say human-induced climate change makes these disasters more likely and more severe. Soldiers have been sent in to join the swarms of volunteers as they begin a recovery mission, which could take years. Bridget Rollison, ABC News.